uh, quite we have started a data set and we have a code there right with the basic functions let me explore today too right so what all the functions we have done till yesterday is the dialog locations i at at and any more functions we did yesterday yeah uh, we did the info and we did the describe i think we did the describe something okay so let's revise all the things okay so i'm loading a data set here right now so how to load a data set in pandas it's like df let be any variable name and then you can write pd dot now whatever the format is of your data you can write it accordingly right so like let's say if you are trying to read a csv file so we'll just say pd dot read underscore of a csv file if it is an excel file we'll be just writing excel excel html is there that will be an html if it is a json file we'll be writing like this okay so we are reading the csv file now again i said yesterday like uh, if you are having it uploaded in your drives uh, sorry in your uh, your what is that called directory right so if you have uh, uploaded in your in your directory here like if i say in some some place here just a moment so my working directory is this one right now right so if you have uploaded it there you can easily read right so uh, let me upload this ipl one yesterday we both started okay now uh pd is now sorry we haven't imported pandas okay all right so uh, you have loaded a data frame right which is a two dimension numpy array okay right so what all is the info of this data will just printing it like it's print df dot info and it says that it is having 636 entries 0 to 635 column names non null data types and all and the memory usage over there right so why this is none is just because of the print function if you remove this you're not going to get the none okay so um, you can easily find like memory usage as i said yesterday uh, memory usage sorry and the function over there and this is the memory usage of all the things and if you say index equals to false you'll not get the index ones okay so that is a different part now let's see all these functions so uh, let's read some round of sample things from your data okay so if i say some sample things from the data what i'll say is df dot sample the so sample of a data how we take a sample of anything right so sample anything will be giving you some random value now if i say df dot sample so i get a value right which is having a lot of things now again this this column is not needed so i'll be deleting it so let me copy this yeah done so deleting any column from a data set how you do yesterday someone asked you, right so you can do it just by deleting df okay so that is inside the df so df of what df of this oh yeah unnamed uh, colon 70 right so we want to delete this and after this we will be looking again to a sample of the data frame how it looks like so it is just simple right now we'll not find any c as compared to the last one will be deleted right now our main focus is to understand the different terms and factors in this total data set so the informations basically you have got it right now you if you want to see some statistical output of your data set what we do is i'm just writing here So to have a statistical output of your data set, what we use the function call is very important it is because it will give you everything you require for basic things. Okay. So this is describe like this. Describe function, right? So I'll be just looking for ds dos describe and that's it. So what I see is the serial number that is having total count first of all, right? So in every column which is having uh, uh, 
you can say integer or float values so on the column which is having integer or float we can find the numbers or you can say uh, we can find the count of that right so 636 636 636 and 636 so no null values throughout the four columns right in the mean we can find the mean of their uh, values okay the standard deviations the minimum value 25 50 and 75 percentile of the values okay and then the maximum values now you can find the uh, modes and also from finding the mode what i say what you have to do is from scipy you have to import the statistics module and then you can find the stats dot mode of whatever the thing is like if you want any df of uh, like any column so let's say uh, season so this is the mode right so mode of this season is 2013 and it has been counted for 76 times right so there you can find the mode and mean and this all can be easily find out right you can see here the mean right medians can be also similarly find out like tf dot season dot mean so you can find here cds dot mean of all this right or you can find with the numpy like you have to import this so this is your mean okay same you can find the medians so what i can see here is 315 and see for the season I, it is <coughs> sorry 2012.490 and is it so yeah right similarly median okay all right moving ahead <laughs> now uh, there are the columns what you uh, want to actually see right so columns let's see it so uh, if we convert it to not be able to get it right so what we see is there the array serial number season city date team one team two toss winner toss decisions result all these are nothing but the columns right for now okay so uh, first question which could come in a data set right when you are dealing with the data sets you have a lot of questions to go through and whenever you are asked to make a project you have to go through at least five to six questions you can make your own questions and you can define the answers with it right so let's say that there are uh, the first question i'm saying okay so if i ask that uh, how many teams has been playing in this data set. okay if this is a question so first of all you have to find all the teams which has been playing throughout the data set right so that is team one and team two so in ipl we know that every team of the team one get a chance to play with the team two right so what we'll do is current directly we'll be finding out the team one right team one players and unique players of that right unique players of those things so what i'll do is df dot the team one you get the values all the things as a series right so here what we'll do is unique function sorry like this okay and we get all the team names so uh, kkr csk rr mitc and R, like this all the teams has been there and there okay right now so how many teams are there we can just use by the size function to get the things like in the numpy we do 13 right that's easy so 13 is the value or we can say df dot team one dot unique dot the size so it is 13 hmm or you can print it here like in the below one like for a particular answer so 
team participated value is 13 okay and if like if the above one is also necessary you can print it here like by giving this like this hmm? all right okay next question could be uh what the data sets with the columns what all are the cities where the most matches has been played what are the top three cities okay where the most matches has been played if you want to look like in the uh, data set so first very first thing is like if the very first questions could be from here we have to go through one more question so that question would be how many season data we have in this data set right so that can be tf dot season dot unique dot size so we find series as uh, u and i q u e and the results yeah so we have 10 seasons data that is from 2008 to 2017 all the matches in the ipl played between 2008 to 2017 right so if we want to see the top three cities right top three cities where the matches has been played from the last 10 years or the past 10 years from 2008 to 17 if we talk about right so what all the what are the, those top three cities where the most matches has been played right okay so we need to access the cities column so that is df dot what is that city so first look on that what all the are the cities where the matches has been played so we see bangalore chandigarh delhi mumbai kolkata jaipur and these all are the cities where the matches has been played okay there is some nan also okay so you can remove it but like before after removing you can find the cities over there right some nan values are there in this okay so we want to look the top three one so in the df dot city dot values what you need to do is see 636 values would be there obviously hmm? so you need to count the same value for the lot number of times hmm. need to count it right for those things we had a function called as values count right so value counts and we need the top three so we'll be just writing top three that's it very clear to everyone any doubts still here df dot city df that is your data frame and in the data frame you are looking for the city column and there you you are finding the value counts basically the maximum value counts okay for any uh, duplication value if you are going with that you need to find the value counts and with the top three if I run this I get three top cities over there that is Mumbai Bangalore and Kolkata any doubts till here Alright, now for the last one, what you can do is just minus 3, you'll get the last 3 one, obviously. Hmm? Okay, now, moving next. With the same things, if we again go to the column and we try to see over here, what is the venue column, right? What is the venue? Let's just go, df talk venue, what is that? That is the stadium names, right? So similar things can be done with the uh, stadiums too, right? If it is being the Mumbai, then which what stadium? Yeah, what more stadiums are there? Let's go with anyone.
so these is all other results m chinna swami punjab cricket association swara sahol kotla and all those things are there right so we need to go through the top one so that will be value underscore of count top 3 so we have m chinna swami for 66 times rn for 61 and feroz shah kotla for 60 okay all right next we see the column uh, we have toss winner toss decisions result dl applied so uh, let's look on to how many matches till the past 2008 2010 10 uh, sorry 70 how many matches were there where the dl was applied a good question how many matches were there from 8 to 17 Height is there two thousand two. Real was applied in the right. Okay. So what is that? Yeah, okay. Hmm. So we need to look onto the column. df dot dl applied so results would be only no and yes that's it if you see the values what you'll find only no and yes that's it can we find any y over there yeah i can see some some sort of y and more ways could be like if it is an array we can just go through np dot where the values of this is equals to y so 1 2 3 4 5 in that size all right it's giving you a couple sorry so 1 2 3 4 5 okay i can see Thirteen, I can see all that. Hmm. Thirteen. Hmm. So, uh, with all these values, what we'll do is, like, it is giving forty. What is forty? Index number, basically, right? DL applied forty. Okay. So you need to go through like DF dot DL underscore of applied, and then uh, you can go here in the forty. It's yes, and we can go just by using locate this. Oh, that would be in next location. Invalid literal, obviously. So what we'll do is with this, we'll be using a function, the the df of in the df. dot the dl applied equal equals to y so these are the results i think 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 out yeah, oh, exactly 13 okay so all these are the matches where the values are y see dl applied column all other y so what are the other matches let's see and all the results are normal okay and so matches played between a uh, ddk xip kkr csk and seasons let's see 2008 9 10 and like if you say that 
how many DL was applied in the year 2009? Like another question could be there. How many DL was applied in 2009? Right, so what you will do is DF of DF of applied equal equals to yes and inside this you have to go through one more parameter that is and you need to look also that df of season should be 2009 i hope season is in uh, yeah obviously applied is not defined Hmm. So all these are the results for the nine. Okay, so these three, how many DL was applied? So three, I can find it. Right? And you can go with the size. So fifty-one is uh, the exact total size. So you need to go with the index dot size. Uh, what do you mean? three? That's it. Right? If you need the values too, you can go with that. So we see the match between. KXIP, DD, KKR, and KXIP, and all three matches with the KXIP. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and none of the time as KXIP has won. KKR, Chris Gill, man of the match, when it was. Okay. Fine, leave it. Okay. Moving ahead. See the next uh, function for. Cities we have looked on, team we have looked on, first and five, second and five, leave that things. Winner, well, let's go with that. Winners. Okay, now with the winners, they want to look on uh, which team has been winning for the most number of times, not even the finals, right? Every match is a we are going to count. Like in the 636 past 10 years in this data set, we had 636 matches. So in the those 300, 636 matches, which team has won for the most number of time right that's it let's say it so easily df dot df mm. yeah so winner just you can find easily this yes. We go with the top five. We see MI for 92, CSK for 60, sorry, 79, KKR 77, RCB 73, oops, and KXIP for 70. And see, if you want to look uh, like in 2008 to 2017, how many matches has MI played? That's it. Okay. How many matches did MI play? This time also I might as well. Yeah. How many matches did sorry MI played? If this is a question. What we'll do is df of df dot okay uh, and the team one is equal equals to MI. So 82 rows are there, that means 82 times this MI has played. And how many times the MI played and won the matches, right? Like this you see the, uh, uh, the uh, what do you say that, observations and um, the statistics, what you see on your televisions like the commentators say that this has uh, this team has won for this number of times and all these things right all are done with the data sets that's all right so uh, like if we say that this team has played for this many of times and had won for this many of times how we'll find this right so we can see that in the past 10 years this team has played for 82 times right from 2008 to 17 82 times now in the past 82 times what we see is the winner value for 92 times something is wrong there now i think mi has won for 92 times hmm? 
I can see in the winner 92 and in the team one I can find it as for 82 rows something is wrong oh, M I T in team one TFF this entity. okay in the team two it would be also there okay okay, okay. yeah and then it will be fine. just a minute TF dot team two also Seventy five here, eighty two there. It's eighty two plus seventy five, but why it's not going to both those times? Okay, yeah. Hmm, both sides will not be there because we are using and. So it has to be like one and one should be there, both should be true, right? Because one and one will be there, then only the results you will be getting. So MI will not play with MI, obviously. Okay, so 82 is there in the team 1 and 80, 75 is there. That means total math is played for MI. Is 82 plus 75. One fifty seven out of one fifty seven, ninety two has one. Hmm. Okay, nice person. Okay, now so our question was what. How many matches has played that is 157 that we got the answer right now in this 157 how many matches it has won 92 matches now what are those 90 matches 97 matches you want to look along what i'll do is df dot locate using the functions locate or you can just do that to the array kind of like this of df and um, there you need to do like winner how many times this winner is equals to mi that's it so 92 rows see 92 values 92 rows and all these are values okay like in 92 times now in 2017 how many times mi has won that could be another question so you can make your own questions you can make your own practice things so in a very small data set see when you can find a lot of questions to do that. So here we'll be looking on df dot again the winner sorry uh, the season it should be 2017 I'm talking about so in 2017 how many there 12 times nice you can go for any of the things 2016 at the beginning what is there 2008 still it is very high but things are still fine there That's right and all these things venues and all the things you can get there right and my team one toss winner like you can toss winner with the toss winner also which team has won the tasks for the maximum number of times you can go with that to like tf dot the toss winner dot the value counts which team has been lucky mi again 85 times kkr for 78 dd for 72 
and still there like from 2017 also the data set has been getting ready like 2018 19 and 20 it will be a huge one if we combine all these things right okay now uh, let's come with the another thing toss decision uh, right what is the maximum number of choice for the you can say for the what what is the maximum number of you can say the choice for any team like after winning the toss after any team winning the toss and then uh, like choosing what like bat or bowling fielding anything okay like if we want to go through that what is the uh, maximum value of the toss decision right so we'll be going with this and value counts and and that's actually you'll be only getting yes or no so fielding is uh, like from 2008 to 2017 most number of the times the opinion is for the fielding that is bowling first right and then there in after the 273 gas for the batting fine fielding is more preferable i think okay results are always normal it's just so it is fine that it, okay tail applied we have looked on uh, which team has won by most number of runs in 2017 not like in the total years if you talk about right so which team has been there win by wickets yeah win by wickets well, let's see the wicket first so which team is there which has won by most number of wickets So for that now you need to find the maximum value right so you'll need to do idx max index maximum value key error 12 i think answer is 12 that's why it is giving so df dot when by wickets dot index maximum value so 12 is the answer obviously so it is saying that in the 12th index whatever the team has played right in the 12th index whatever the team has or whatever the result is being there in the 12th one that team has performed or that team has won by the most number of wickets it is being said right like this right so we'll be looking let's locate Hmm. Win by 10 wickets. See. Is there any matches where the win by wickets is equals to 10? Let me see it there. There could be matches. In 2020, there was two matches, I think. Win by wickets equal equals to hmm. 10. There are a lot number of matches. See, but obviously, as the things as you know, like the first is the first preference, right? But if you find all, then you have to go with this. And we see a lot number of things are there. So the very first match was played in two thousand eight with MIDC, where DC. Has won the match with 10 wickets. Man of the match was AC. Kilchrist and venue was Patil and that's the thing. Okay. That's interesting. Nice. Okay. So we have total matches for this. How much? Ten matches total. Total ten matches where the team has won by ten wickets. Okay. All right. And you can find the teams right with the hair with hair you can just find with the team one right so these all are the teams which has won by the 10 number of times right that is m i k x i p r r m i or you can go with the winners basically sorry winners would be the better if you go with the winner 
you'll find these all other teams which has won by the most number of times and you can go with the two underscore of numpy to find the better results and this is things so dc dd of uh, rcb rr mi csk rcb rcb for two times ch sh kkr and kxip okay so all these has the teams which has played and won by the 10 right that is 10 wickets okay now next thing just a minute That's a shit. Uh, if we say why is the same thing like uh, with the most number of runs, we'll copy this and we'll paste it there, and it would be why the most number of runs dot the maximum value and 620. So df dot the index locations and we would say it to be again 620 is the first one I think okay so MIDD again mm, MI win by 146 runs okay and then Simmons is there and that's it so I think this could be also the same thing if we go through there could be any more like apart from this there would be much more so not by win wickets by runs is mm, what we need is it's equal equals to 10 we have searched for there right and win by runs we cannot specify actually so df dot win by runs equals to 10 was okay here it is saying greater than 146 we can look on like the very first value i can see is 146 so let's see greater than 146 hmm. no none is there i think less than 146 is it working yeah it is working okay so only one value is there I think there was a match some where RCB scored 300. What is that match? Okay. Okay, so no match is there for that. Uh, let me see what are the entire runs value. What is the maximum value? One forty six is the maximum, obviously. Okay, so things are fine. Do you have any doubts? Hmm, sir, I have a little doubt. Yeah, I see this. Yeah, see. Uh, sir, sir, when you evaluated totals and MI's total matches mm -hmm. out of one fifty six, they have won ninety two. Mm -hmm. You evaluated using team one and team two, mm -hmm. but what if we went? What if we go for team three also? we have only team one and team two how we can go to team three no sir, sir i'm not i'm not telling that means sir how come the results are not showing uh, by only from team one only why we have to specify team two as well see uh, let's say like uh, i and you are two teams okay and the okay. third team so i'm playing with the third team right so team one is there for me okay so team two is okay. the third team now next time um, you has played with the third team okay so in the team two okay with 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 very simple concepts you understand like mi is playing with the team two so in the left hand side there are mi there could yes, be some sir. teams which are playing with mi now mi could there be also in the team two team two yes sir okay right for that right, we have to look on for the left and right hand side both of them yes sir yes okay okay any more doubts to anyone this is having 9 to 140. 
140 is there which match is 140 the first one okay first match is having 140 let me look okay Bangalore and RCB Mithlam KKR always yeah right, let's see the chat box any doubts no one is having doubts okay uh, hmm. what columns are left man of the match okay now anyone can predict who can be the best man of the match like in 2000 okay we'll be finding for every year 2000 and not every 2000 let's say any random 17 sorry 2017 2009 uh, 2003 2005 oh, sorry 2008 or 13 9 13 17 15 so we'll be finding four years man of the match and finally the best man of the match of, of all the 10 years anyone can tell for the 2009 who can be the best okay how many man of the matches we have obviously 636 okay yes any values uh, any names quick anyone write in the chat box or say whatever you want okay let me give you some hint from here like uh, df dot man of match right man of match dot the values and let's see uh, like first 50 values so we see Brandon Macklem, Mike Hussey, MF something is there, MV Hussey again. Uh, okay, this is another one. Watson, Seva, right? First values. How many values actually we have? Six hundred and thirty-six. Okay. So all these are the man of the matches. So many ones. The same name can be also repeated for most number of times, right? So, yes, any names quickly guys. Anyone? Okay, let me ask to someone. Okay, first one is Anisha. Mm, Anisha, you can tell any name who can be the best for there. Next is Pujita Yadav, then Ponita, Nidhi, Neha, Chetan, ABD. Apart is saying ABD, okay. Chetan, Rajesh, Kali, Parth, Nishita. Parth is there for two times. Okay, he is doing something. Shashank. Hmm. I got one name. ABD. For which year? 2009 or the best 10 years? Best 10 years. Okay. Michael C. 2009. Okay. Enera 2009. Shishner. Okay. What else are doing? Okay, Punita, what do you say from your side? RCB. Must be supporting RCB. Okay, let's go through 2009. Let's see. So, DF of DF dot man of the match. So this is 2009 guys and we have a lot of man of the matches okay so best man of the match for this so 
so tf of Two thousand and nine dot man of match hmm? dot the value counts top one use of pattern three times. Hmm. Let me see the results in my. Ashish Nara was there, Mike Asi. Okay. Next year, what is that? 2013, 15, and 17. Okay. okay. 2013, any guesses? No. Mikasi for five times. Mikasi 2009 Rajesh Kumar has said for 2009. Okay, you are a bit close. 2013 is there. Okay, next 2015. Any guesses for this? Why you are right? This is boring. Feeling bored in pandas. Important actually. Uh, match for deep. Uh, okay. DF. Shift. TF of 2015. Okay. And <coughs> sorry. Yeah. This is the error. Nice. Last one. No, oh, we have to. Know. 17, 2017. 17. Any guesses for 17? Great channel. Tendon Simmons in 2015. <laughs> Got one at the right channel. Chetan Prabha. I too also hope right channel should come.
கொஞ்சம் ஓகே த லாஸ்ட் ஒன் ஒரு <laughs> But the Python students will be going through math.lib So just a second And Flip dot flip plot Yeah SPLT so let's say df of the i say best players equals to this the top 10 and i need to plot this uh, so i'll be plotting it as a sns dot count plot where my data is equals to the best players that's it then i see the results here as such 12 13 14 15 16 18 and something like this and if you say it has to be this then i see the same results right and okay come on not too much eighteen values in there yeah not really too much but it is okay fine right so one and all basically the things are there tomorrow we'll be going in much detail with this okay